Okay, changing the IP address of the BizHub Pro C500. This uses what is now an antiquated and slow operating system, or at least it's slow on this unit. Uh, this is the main control screen. The thing we want to watch for is up here in the top right, this controller. Sometimes this takes a little while to show up when you're booting up and sometimes it disappears as you go from screen to screen. You'll need to have that show up before this is going to uh, work. So when that shows up over here on this console, press the print. That changes the screen to look like this. Sometimes the screen is very slow. So you have to wait for a while for it to operate or to work correctly. Press menu, escape when you get to this screen. And at this point I'm not sure how long we're going to be waiting because I've had trouble with it reliably working. Uh, this may have something to do with the, the, the background noise you hear where the machine has been trying to warm up for a while. Anyway, there's an alert about back staples, and somehow I have to clear this in order to get to the next screen for the setup. So I press and hold down menu, escape, and then uh, sometimes the screen that comes up here is different, maybe remembering what the last screen you were on was. So we're going to go back into that screen again, and press and hold. And you escape it. I'm going to go down to the next menu. There, apparently, there's a couple of screens. I'm going to go to Run Setup. I'm going to continue with Setup. Honestly, I'm not sure what it just did. But you notice that the controller went away and came back. So I'm going to have to start over. Up, oh, it's doing it again. Perhaps it's running the setup I told it to run. Okay, it's back. I'm going to go ahead and press the print. Perhaps I get to continue now. Now that I'm in the setup area. I'm going to run the network setup, protocol setup, TCP IP setup, Ethernet setup, and so now I'm in a, a progression of screens that are going to allow me to set the static IP address for this machine. Okay, here, I'll go ahead and press, this is the existing IP address, I'll go to my keypad, and I'm going to remove, you can see the IP address up here that we're deleting from, I'm going to change my IP address to uh, zero dot one six. Oops. We changed our IP addressing scheme here, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Press enter. And we'll go through the next steps. Subnet mask is going to stay the same. And it says TCPAP was successfully bound to the Ethernet. Gateway is the same. Actually, the gateway wasn't the same. I have to go back through it.
Over to the keypad again. Exit the setup. Exit the protocol setup. And exit the network setup. Saving the changes. And I don't know if it would do something on its own, but it seems like if I hit, I have to hit exit again. And then it reboots the system. And you can see at the top left, again, we've got the controller. It took a little while to come up, it finally came up. <laughs> 